Oh, my water's over here. It's always somewhere. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Justin, and today we're listening to Peter Gabriel with his song, Games Without Frontiers, off of his self-titled third album, uh, released in 1980. What is your favorite game? It could be a board game, it could be a video game, it could be any sort of game. I would say that my favorite board game, if you have the right amount of people and the right amount of time, is Monopoly, definitely. Second place, I don't know, Scrabble. Video game, I'm still, I'm still into Overwatch, hence even the hat, which you probably can't tell. It is the Overwatch symbol. Um, I probably didn't... <laughs> is it the Overwatch symbol? No, this one's D.Va. I think... That... I don't know what's on this one. You can join me on Twitter. You can join me in the comments down below. I don't know why I'm talking about games, but I guess I do because it's part of the name of the song. Uh, thank you for your donations as well, and let's just get into it. This is Games Without Frontiers by Peter Gabriel. <laughs> Shh. 
I really like the way that Peter takes a message, something that he feels strongly about, and is able to perfectly put that into music and make the music sound like I would imagine he feels. Because the song is pretty cold. Like the instrumentation, the percussion, especially, which I, I really love the percussion in this song, actually, um, because it's so bare bones. Uh, it, it's it's so cool the way they do that. Um, but point aside, um, the whole song sounds kind of cold. And from what I can tell, it's basically his uh, his commentary on war, why they start fighting. It's like a silly game, uh, like he says at one point, I believe. But the cold instrumentation, the transformation, like, for example, in the ending of the song, the beat changes into something almost, almost, almost like a deconstructed pop song, a deconstructed dance song, just a little bit. So it's interesting how he's able to put that in there because the rest of the music didn't feel like that. But as he gets into that part, it's almost like he's saying like that these people that carry on with war, like they're playing a game. Like, I mean, I guess that's the name of the song. <laughs> but at the end of the song, and in part near the beginning, with that beat, when it becomes a little more playful, it does kind of feel like that. It feels like a game. When we know, as the audience listening to the message and the lyrics, that it's definitely not. Now, even if I didn't see her name on here, I think I would recognize Kate Bush on this one. <laughs> but Kate Bush is just this nice, sweet, melodic angel of a voice that is there repeating the same thing. Uh, Games Without Frontiers, but she's singing it in French. Uh, Je sans frontières. Is that how it's like? Je, Je sans frontières. Je sans front... No, you don't pronounce the S at the end of sang. I know that. Je sans frontières. Je... <laughs> I'm trying to say it. Je sans frontières. Um, but I like how she's used as like that returning motif. She's used as the chorus to come back to. That nice... Uh, melodic voice because it sounds sweet. It sounds like something you want to hear more of, but War isn't about what you want. War is about what you're thrown into. The unemotional way that all of the music is delivered in this song further drives that point home because I feel like it's purposely numbing. It's purposely meant to feel unfeeling and lacking that 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 emotional kick that we usually listen for in music, but it's because of that that Peter is so successful, like I said, of taking something that he feels strongly about and providing it into music, transforming it into music, keeping that message very pure, not being lost in translation. To me, this feels like it could be a dancey song if it just had a more constant beat, it had a little bit more of the synth. If things were elevated just a little bit, then you would really get that game and playful feel. But because Peter smartly deconstructs it and breaks it down and boils it down to the bare minimum and the elements, that's where you get uh, this song, Game with Games Without Frontiers. And I really do like that synth work. I like the guitar as well. I really like the whistling that comes in because it even matches the, uh, the lyrics uh, where he says, whistling tunes we hide in the dunes uh, by the seaside, whistling tunes we're kissing baboons in the jungle. So it even kind of sounds like to me, when he says that we're waiting by the seaside, we're waiting in the dunes, maybe a soldier just waiting uh, to ambush the enemy and they're just sitting there whistling. Okay, well, I guess they wouldn't be whistling. <laughs> I guess they wouldn't be whistling if they're trying to ambush the enemy. But maybe in the downtime of war, right, when perhaps war is normalized or maybe the things that have, they have seen are normalized. Whistling is just a very casual thing. It's just, you just do it when you're kind of feeling good, right? But they say whistling tunes, we hide in the dunes by the seaside. And then later on, they're talking about uh, uh, urinating on people in the jungle, uh, perhaps dead bodies. That was really loud thunder. That kind of scared me, to be honest. <laughs> um, so it's almost like these acts of cruelty are, are normalized. They become games without frontiers, games without rules, games without limits. And when you don't have a limit, you just go to the edge and possibly over the edge. And I feel like even listening to the instrumentation in this song, like every part of it, it, it kind of perfectly captures that idea of losing your grasp on things that are normal. You know, PTSD, losing yourself due to these acts, due to the things that you've seen, that you've experienced and have been involved in possibly. And I think that Peter does a great job of really showing that. Um, and even now that I'm thinking about the PTSD, uh, angle, um, Games Without Frontiers, these games that may be played at one point are going to affect people's lives, like 
forever, really, in the future. So I think that's a really powerful message. I think that this song is really nice, especially in the message. Um, this album is, is really something special, I gotta say that, to be honest. Um, guys, of course I want to know your thoughts on the song. You can join me on Twitter, you can join me in the comments down below. I hope that you're having a fantastic day. Thank you, as always, for the donations to the channel. And I'm gonna talk to you later because it's thundering really loud out there. I'll see ya. Bye.